This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 818. High fructose corn syrup, just like sugar or worse, by Joe Leach with Healthline.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy middle of the week Wednesday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I act as your narrator of the best health and fitness blogs, all for free. I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more, just like an audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors. And then on Fridays, I do something a little different. I answer your questions right here on the show. And a big thanks to Carbona for their support. Carbona is a household brand that's been helping people to keep their homes clean since 1908. Their wide range of cleaning solutions will get you results each and every time. As an Optimal Health Daily listener, use code OHD at Carbona.com to save 20%. That's C A R. B-O-N-A dot com and code OHD for 20% off. Carbona was actually kind enough to send me some samples. And one of the cool things they sent me was something called a color grabber. It's basically this thin, what almost looks like a dryer sheet, but you add it to the washing machine and it helps prevent your clothes, especially brand new clothes, from bleeding. That way, dark colors don't end up staining some of the lighter color clothes. And I was like, yeah, I will give this a try. I'm not sure if this really works. But sure enough, I bought some brand new dark towels and went ahead and washed them with some older beige towels just in case, because if the beige towels got stained, it's no big deal. I would just toss them. So I added a sheet of the color grabber and once you know it, the colors didn't bleed. It was pretty amazing. So the dark colors stayed with the dark colored towels and the beige colored towels looked great. There was no bleeding of any of that dark color. Pretty amazing. Oh, and hey, before I get to today's post, it's the middle of the week, so that means we're due for a little inspiration. So here we go. Quote, always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any one thing. Abraham Lincoln. And with that, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. High fructose corn syrup, just like sugar or worse, by Joe Leach with Healthline.com. For decades, high fructose corn syrup has been used as a sweetener in processed foods. Due to its fructose content, it's been heavily criticized for its potential negative health effects. Many people claim that it's even more harmful than the other sugar-based sweeteners. This article compares high fructose corn syrup and regular sugar, reviewing whether one is worse than the other. What is high fructose corn syrup? High fructose corn syrup, or HFCS, is a sweetener derived from corn syrup, which is processed from corn. It's used to sweeten processed foods and soft drinks, primarily in the United States. It's similar to regular table sugar, which is sucrose, meaning it's composed of both fructose and glucose. It became a popular sweetener in the late 1970s when the price of regular sugar was high, while corn prices were low due to government subsidies. Though its use skyrocketed between 1975 and 1985, it has declined slightly due to the rising popularity of artificial sweeteners. Summary. High fructose corn syrup is a sugar-based sweetener used in processed foods and drinks in the United States. Like regular sugar, it consists of the simple sugars glucose and fructose. Production process. High fructose corn syrup is made from corn, which is usually genetically modified. The corn is first milled to produce corn starch, which is then processed further to create corn syrup. Corn syrup consists mostly of glucose. To make it sweeter and more similar in taste to regular table sugar, some of that glucose is converted to fructose using enzymes. Different types of high fructose corn syrup provide varying proportions of fructose. For example, while high fructose corn syrup 90, the most concentrated form, contains 90% fructose, the most commonly used type, high fructose corn syrup 55, consists of 55% fructose, and 42% glucose. High fructose corn syrup 55 is similar to sucrose, which is regular table sugar, which is 50% fructose and 50% glucose. Summary. High fructose corn syrup is produced from cornstarch, which is further refined to produce syrup. The most common type has a fructose to glucose ratio similar to table sugar. High fructose corn syrup versus regular sugar. There are only tiny differences between high fructose corn syrup 55, the most common type of high fructose corn syrup, and regular sugar. 
A major difference is that high fructose corn syrup is liquid, containing about 24% water, whereas table sugar is dry and granulated. In terms of chemical structure, the fructose and glucose in high fructose corn syrup are not bound together like in granulated table sugar. Instead, they float separately alongside each other. These differences don't affect the nutritional value or the health properties. In your digestive system, sugar is broken down into fructose and glucose. So, corn syrup and sugar end up looking exactly the same. Gram for gram, high fructose corn syrup 55 has slightly higher levels of fructose than regular sugar. The difference is very small and not particularly relevant from a health perspective. Of course, if you compared regular table sugar and high fructose corn syrup 90, which has 90% fructose, regular sugar would be far more desirable as excessive consumption of fructose can be very harmful. However, high fructose corn syrup 90 is rarely used, and even so, only in tiny amounts due to its extreme sweetness. Summary. High fructose corn syrup and table sugar are almost identical. The main difference is that the fructose and glucose molecules are bound together in table sugar. Effects on health and metabolism. The main reason why sugar-based sweeteners are unhealthy is because of the large amount of fructose they supply. The liver is the only organ that can metabolize fructose in significant amounts. When your liver gets overloaded, it turns the fructose into fat. Some of that fat can lodge in your liver, contributing to fatty liver. High fructose consumption is also linked to insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. High fructose corn syrup and regular sugar have a very similar blend of fructose and glucose with a ratio of about one to one. Therefore, you would expect the health effects to be largely the same, which has been confirmed numerous times. When comparing equal doses of high fructose corn syrup and regular sugar, research shows that there's no difference in feelings of fullness, insulin response, leptin levels, or effects on body weight. Thus, sugar and high fructose corn syrup are exactly the same from a health perspective. Summary. Many studies show that sugar and high fructose corn syrup have similar effects on health and metabolism, but both are harmful when consumed in excess. Added sugar is bad. Fruit isn't. Though excessive fructose from added sugar is unhealthy, you should not avoid eating fruit. Fruits are whole foods with plenty of fiber and nutrients like antioxidants. It's very difficult to overeat fructose if you're only getting it from whole fruit. The negative health effects of fructose only apply to excessive added sugars which are typical for a high-calorie Western diet. Summary. Though fruits are among the richest natural sources of fructose, they're associated with health benefits. Adverse health effects are only linked to an excessive intake of added sugar. The bottom line. The most common form of high-fructose corn syrup, high-fructose corn syrup 55, is virtually identical to regular table sugar. Evidence to suggest that one is worse than the other is currently lacking. In other words, they're both equally bad when consumed in excess. You just listened to the post titled High Fructose Corn Syrup, Just Like Sugar or Worse by Joe Leach with Healthline.com. And a big thanks to Carbona for their support. It's wonderful to come home daily to a clean and stain-free home. And sometimes you need a bit of help maintaining that sparkly cleanliness in your living space. Q Carbona a household brand that's been around since 1908. When I heard about Carbona Stain Devils, it opened my eyes to the science that goes behind removing a stain successfully. For example, if you have a wine stain, it wouldn't make sense to treat it with a formula that removes butter or greasy food because they're chemically different. Knowing this, Carbona created an entire range of stain removers for specific stain types. Genius, right? Start living your life unstained. Shop Carbona.com with code OHD for 20% off your order. That's C-A-R-B-O-N-A dot com with code OHD for 20% off your order. Happy cleaning. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. What you just heard may have been completely different from what you thought. You probably thought we're going to talk about how high fructose corn syrup is the worst thing in the world. When we look at the data, it turns out that that's simply not true. But that's why we always want to just look at the data. We don't want to rely on our own opinions or what we may have heard from a friend or family member. The confusion about high fructose corn syrup probably came about for two reasons. One was that, yes, it's in almost everything we eat. And so we do consume too much of it. 
But consuming too much of anything, even something good, can be a bad thing. I'll give you an example. If you consume too many antioxidants, usually like through a supplement, too many antioxidants can actually become a pro-oxidant, which means it speeds up inflammation. It increases your risk for cancer, for premature aging. One example of that is vitamin E. Vitamin E is one of the most powerful antioxidants we know of. And so people started supplementing with it because they thought, well, let's get more of this really good antioxidant. Well, it turns out that vitamin E supplementation has been associated with premature aging, increases for cancer, and early death. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. With high fructose corn syrup, because it's in most processed foods, we're getting too much of something. And so it's become this bad thing. So that's one reason. The second is there are different forms of high fructose corn syrup, as Joe mentioned in the article. There's high fructose corn syrup 55, which is basically like table sugar, it's just in a liquid form. And then there's high fructose corn syrup 90, which is not so great. That would be much worse because that's mostly fructose. And it's in a liquid form, which is easily digestible. So high fructose corn syrup 90, yeah, that's no good for sure. So no, high fructose corn syrup isn't the devil, but added sugars in general, including high fructose corn syrup, including table sugar, including all of those things, Yeah, we want to decrease our consumption of all of that. How do we do that? Try and eat real whole foods as often as possible. We won't be able to avoid boxed foods. We won't be able to avoid processed foods. But if we can think about consuming fewer of them, and if we can do that over a lifetime, that definitely helps. All right, that'll do it for me for today. Thank you, as always, for subscribing. Thank you for being here every day. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.